everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my autumn winter wardrobe switchover so if you have watched my channel for a while you guys will know i obviously do this wardrobe switchover twice a year i do have wardrobes in my room just behind me here um but unfortunately they are not big enough to store all of my clothes all year round so i switch over the spring summer stuff with the autumn winter stuff um normally i do a bit later in the year actually normally i do it kind of mid october it's not even the end of september yet um when i'm actually filming this i think this video will be going up a bit later though but i just found that i was really missing a lot of warmer clothes i had a few jackets and coats that i kept out just in case um, but I was really like missing like knitwear and boots and stuff so I thought I'm just going to film it a little bit earlier and get all the autumn winter stuff out ready so I can start wearing some of it. It's actually a miserable day today and it's freezing cold. I think I might have to put my heating on today because obviously working from home I'm in the house all day and if I'm just like sat down on my laptop I get so cold. Today might be alright though because I'll be moving around and stuff. You'll have to excuse my outfit. This is not the most um, fashionable outfit but it's just so comfy i have this top on which is really creased actually from zara it's just a plain long sleeve basic and then these rib trousers these are old from boohoo but i just want to be comfy whilst i'm doing this because i think it's going to take quite a long time it normally takes me all day but i want to film this and edit this today if i can so just a little overview of my bedroom so these are my double wardrobes here they are built into the wall um, because my bedroom is on the top floor. So they're all like bespoke, <laughs> made by my dad. And yeah, these are the wardrobes. I then have some drawers I put out at the bottom with my shoes. They are just a mess. I've just literally shoved everything straight in there. So I need to go through that. And I have quite a bit of space sort of at the end. If I shove everything up, I have a good couple of feet of space there um, for like thicker coats and stuff, which is great. And obviously as I do this, I am going to have a clear out as well. I also have this chest of drawers which has only got like a few bits in so like shorts and hoodies and stuff um, and then the other two drawers are not full of clothes. I then have my big black chest of drawers here um, and that's just got these are kind of basic tops and bodysuits and needs a tidy and then jeans in here also needs a tidy and then I have this chest of drawers which I think I'll just kind of reorganise. Most of this stuff in here is actually like just pretty lavish stuff, just kind of like random joggers, loungewear sets. And then the other two drawers are tracksuits, a little bit of space in there as well, which is good. Um, and then this is how I store all my winter, autumn winter stuff in these vacuum bags. And then I put stuff in these clear boxes just to keep it nice and secure and safe whilst it's packed away. Obviously that bag I couldn't fit into a box but I have shoes as well in there. So I'm very excited to get this done with. I think I'm going to feel so much better once everything is organised and like I said I'm going to do a big clear out as well as I am putting stuff away. So I will leave my Vinted linked in the description box because everything will go up on there. I'll try and do it today. Um, so that it's already up for you guys. But yeah, that is where I, where I sell most of my stuff. Now, I do have a Depop account as well, but I'm just not a fan of Depop. I feel like every time, oh, nearly every time I sell something on there, people are just so rude. I don't know what the sense of entitlement is when you're buying something from someone else, but I just could not deal with the amount of rude people that I had. Um, if you have bought something from me on there and you've been really nice, then thank you, because there are some lovely people, but majority of people just so rude in the way they communicate and i don't know i'm just i'm not a fan of that um i find it really hard to look past it so i switched over to vintage people seem a bit nicer over there but yeah depop was just doing my head in a bit i still have a few bits left over on my depop account so i might link that below as well um but yeah mainly everything will be going up on my vintage now so the first thing i'm going to do is take everything out of the wardrobe that i want to pack away all the summer bits that i know i won't be wearing and i will leave everything in there that i'm going to keep out i'm going to try and be kind of as ruthless as possible to create as much room for all of this stuff so i just take out the bits that i'm going to pack away like i said take them off the hanger and pop them on the bed just so i can see what i've got left in there and then i will go through the bits that are left. 
So at the moment we've got some like pile systems going on. So this is everything that I've emptied from the wardrobe that is being packed away. This I think is going to do better over in this chest of drawers. And then here is stuff that I'm going to pop on vintage. And then I'm thinking of making this chest of drawers all hoodies, tracksuits, sweatshirts. So I took these out of the wardrobe. They're going to go in there. And I'm going to move the ones that are in here over there if I can squeeze them in, might have to get rid of some tracksuits. And then I'm gonna pack away these shorts as well because I know I'm not gonna need them and then that's gonna free up this drawer hopefully as well. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I am now going to go through the shoes in here and all summer shoes I'm gonna pop on the bed as well, ready for packing away. And then we can start looking through these boxes which is the exciting part because I get to be reminded of all the lovely autumn winter clothes that I forgot about. So I'm now in a bit of a sea of shoes. Um, there are not that many that I need to really pack away. I think I got rid of so many sandals. It's Timothy there. So many sandals this summer. Um, so I only have a few good pairs, but it's mostly just boots. I've emptied the boots out of here and there are so many. I'm really in two minds about whether to keep these ones or not or whether to sell them. Um, I absolutely love them. I got them from Zara a couple of years ago, but if I remember correctly, I don't think I wore them last winter. Um, but they're so gorgeous. I think they were quite expensive. They were like a hundred pounds and they're just a lovely kind of classic boot. So I'm just unsure about whether to get rid of them or whether to keep them for maybe one day. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to just really go through this because I like to put boots on this side or shoes I wear the most on this side um, because I can get to them a bit easier whereas over on this side the coats are a bit longer so it's harder to um get the shoes out so so we're going to give that a go but yeah i really need to go through these i think some of them are going to have to go because nobody needs this many pairs of black boots essentially do all look very similar so for instance i'm just looking and i've got these two pairs which are really similar but i can't decide which pair i prefer more these ones i got from office last year and they're a bit kind of chunkier and loose around the leg Whereas these ones are a bit slimmer around the leg. These are from, I think, Public Desire. Um, so I'm gonna have to have a little think about that. I feel like I need like an outfit to try them on with to see which ones I prefer. But this is what I mean. I have so many that are similar, like these two as well. These are both old pairs, as you can see, but I love them both. And these are like a painting, kind of like Western style boot, a bit mucky there. And then these are essentially so similar but the soft leather do i need both pairs probably not but i can't decide which one i prefer also got all the um sparkly heels out as well ready for party season right i really need to um crack on with this So I think the shoes are done. Um, I have put quite a lot of them in like these little dust bags that I get from Zara just to keep them a little bit nicer. Um, all my favourite boots and like trainers and stuff in this side. And then in this side we've got a few more pairs of boots and mostly heels actually. I've had to kind of shove most of them in at the back there. But again, these little bags are just so good. They come with most Zara shoes and they just keep them all nice. So now I think I'm gonna go through this drawer and like I said, empty the shorts out and then I'm also gonna go through this one and give it a tidy. This is looking much better now. We've got all vest tops, um, like basics, long sleeve, short sleeve bodysuits, all color coded as well. And a bit of space at the back there in case I wanna buy some more. And then I'm just gonna quickly organize these because I went through my jeans a little while ago. So I know I definitely wanna keep all of these. I just need to keep them rolled up um, and I might color order them as well. So jeans looking good also emptied this drawer so i've got an empty drawer there for more stuff which i'm sure i'll find and then this is also looking much better filled all the spaces so all track suits and all hoodies and loungewear in the one at chest of drawers depop pile is growing these shoes i love them but they're just too crazy for me i think um you guys know I don't really wear much colour. I bought them for the summer, but I never actually wore them, so they're brand new. So I'm going to pop them 
on my vintage, another pair of gold heels in there. Really nice tweed jacket, a leather trench coat, vegan leather, some mum jeans. Lots of stuff there, a few blazers, jumpers. So yeah, like I said, that will all be up on Vinted soon. Now I'm gonna go through these boxes, the exciting part, get everything out. I'm also gonna transfer some hangers because I have two types of hangers. I have these ones, wooden ones, which are great for coats and obviously heavier items. And then it also have these like flimsier ones, um, which are obviously better for lighter things. So I need to free up some of these wooden ones for coats. So we have a big old mountain of stuff from those boxes. I didn't actually even need to use the vacuum bags to put away some stuff and I still have an empty box I can use for something else. But this is the mound of coats and knitwear that I need to pop away in the wardrobe. There should be enough room, almost half um, empty, well, maybe a third. Um, everything does come out of these bags looking like this, so looking quite creased. But I find once I've hung it up, I can give it a quick steam before I want to wear them. Um, all these creases drop out and the clothes are good as new. So it really is the best way of storing stuff and using as little space as possible. So now here's the task of hanging all this stuff up. I've got my Depop pile, which is growing. I've got some sequins up here. I keep saying Depop, I mean vintage. I also have Nadine Marabi jumpsuit, which is insane. Um, some knitwear, yeah, lots of nice bits there. And now I get to put all of this away. Finally, I am done. I have this big old pile to sort through for vintage now, but the wardrobe is looking so much better, so much more full as well. I say this every single time, but I wish it was just a little bit longer because everything drags along the bottom, which is annoying, but that's because my bedroom is in the loft. Uh, we have so much nice cozy knitwear that I had forgotten about. This jumper here is one of my favourites. It's last year's Zara. I love it. Can't wait to wear it again. Got this new mohair one from H&M, which I'm in love with. So many great ones that I'd forgotten about. This cozy little fleece, which I can't wait to put on. The Nadine Marabi pyjamas. And then so many coats. Basically, the coats take up half of the wardrobe. But that's okay, because in winter, your outfit is just a coat, really, isn't it? So, obviously, everything is colour-coded, light to dark. And then at the end, I have kind of, like, puffers for my dog-walking coats here. But, yeah, I'm very pleased with how this is looking. And I'm so excited to wear some of these. This is my new gilet from Zara as well, by the way, which I'm obsessed with. Love that. You might have seen as well in the time-lapse clips, I've done up all of my coats just so they sit a lot nicer on the hangers. I find that that helps keep their shape a little bit more and keeps them nice and avoids creasing and stuff like that. So obviously coats, this half goes into jackets and blazers and then trousers, knitwear, shirts, and then we've got dresses here as well. All my shoes along the bottom there, can't see them too well, but they are all nice and organized as well. And of course we've got all the drawers looking good still got this empty one here which is great so i can pop stuff in there as and when it arrives and i had to squeeze a few more light like thin knits in here but this is now full and jeans are nice and organized too so now i'm going to close the door on this feeling so much more organized that pretty much every cupboard and every drawer is sorted so that was the end of my autumn winter wardrobe switchover video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Do let me know if there's anything specific that you've seen in this video that you want a link to. Um, and I will do my best to find it. I'm just so excited to wear all of these clothes now that I'd forgotten about. I am going to pop everything here on my vintage now so make sure you go and check that out if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like if you are new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye